Welcome back to Smoky Mountain Logging, clearing a path with me, Mr. Sealy P. So here I am back on Smoky Mountain Logging for a continuation of the Let's Play. It's not exactly a continuation, the difference being that because I had to do a new save game because of the update, my 200 trees that I planted all along there that had grown and I said I was going to go at some point and cut them all down and see what I made, obviously they're not there anymore. However, a bit of a change. After my video yesterday on the secret area, the reveal of where it is, um, I've had a lot of feedback and you know, all very positive and uh, I just wanted to make it very, very clear. This was hinted to me by Mirithis Catalyst and the FDR login team. Um, it was a kind of, you know, I don't know if it was an exclusive, I don't know if anyone else was kind of tip, tip the wink on this or not, whether it was just me. If it was, I feel incredibly lucky and privileged, and I want to thank FDR Login and Mirithis Catalyst for doing that. Absolutely brilliant. Um, so people are coming in saying, well done, Mr. CDP, thanks for finding it. I mean, all right, technically I did find it. I was given a hint. Um, but, you know, so here's the thing. When people were asking me, how did you find it? I can't find it. I don't know where it is. You need to do the update first things first some people haven't done the update and they're saying they can't find it you need to do an update and it will probably be a new save game out of this corner if i just put a little map on i'm out of this corner by the the gas station petrol station whatever you want to call it and uh, morgan's massive motors there we come out from the corner now something that was pointed out to me and i want to point out to you to make life a lot easier when you've done the update and you come out to this corner what suddenly becomes glaringly obvious which wasn't obvious to me yesterday because i went and got the pickup and i drove across there was that here in the grass although the grass is brown you've got a gap here where there's no grass growing that is in essence a road and if you follow it up and keep the grass that's growing on either side and stick in the middle this will take you up to where you need to go to the secret entrance anyway what I'm going to do then is in this episode I'm going to clear a path I don't know if I'm going to continue with the let's play and go into that area and do logging or not I might just do another couple of episodes clearing our path up to there and see how we get on I'm going to be chucking the logs to the side just to clear the path and then I will come in and I will uh, grind the stumps out to make life easier, but first we need some equipment. So here we are, at M3, M cubed, mm. Morgan's massive motors. Top right hand corner, I'm on 593,000, I have sold everything I had, all apart from my trusty chainsaw, which obviously I'm probably going to need at some point. So, what am I going to get? that's kind of obvious I don't need to increase the loan to do this which is very very nice into forestry equipment this is a bit of a no-brainer to be fair the Scorpion King of course select standard or tracks I've done standard a few times I think so I might go with tracks well, it's an extra 8,000 what the hell let's go for it 325 grand just drops it like that and then I'm gonna get the yeah we'll get skid steer I'm gonna get the forestry version the forest master 325t uh, I'm gonna buy I'm gonna lease it I want it to be mine I don't want any vehicle costs and leasing costs and all that nonsense hanging over me and we'll grab the stump grinder there's not a stump grinder in that pack is there the DFM no there isn't uh, grab the stump grinder cutter whatever you call it uh, and buy that always oh, puts you there right so here we go this is the equipment we need let's jump in there ah oh, now I know what I haven't done bear with me one second all right so all I've done is just turn the auto engine start off because that's how I prefer to do it let's open it up a little bit uh, cut length Hmm. Once I put the cut length on, oh, I'll turn it on first. I dump it on one meter. Let's put it on. I'll go with six meter cuts. Then I'll clear it all up later on. 
If I do six metre cuts, I can put two lots into the new trailer. Yeah. I'll do sixes and see how we get on. Right, turn that for the time being. And let's drive that out. Don't need the map on anymore. So let's make this first cut. And a bit. Very helpful. I don't know how well, yeah, how many I'm going to cut down. Quite a few to get a route in here. That's weird. Not because I'm anywhere near it. So I'm assuming now my path either side is going to be littered with felled trees, just ready for collection. Now this one's going to be a little bit trickier to clear. What I will do is come as far this way as I can. And hopefully it'll pop out of the ground. Bingo. Getting to it might be a little bit trickier. first doesn't need to be moved but it will make life a little bit easier I think. So it's what we're stuck on. How weird. Now hopefully I can get this just right on the end. Drop that down and hopefully I can tilt that forward enough. It'll give me the option to cut. Like, there we go, and it picks up perfect. So I can actually get them out of the way. weird. What happened there? Very peculiar. Let's try that again. Didn't seem to like that. Normally works.
Nope. Not liking that at all. Okay, that won't have to be done by hand, or at least it's out of the way anyway. I could have just cut it and dragged it out with a log grapple or something, but... Right, we're going to carry on for a little bit. And let's see how far we can get into this, shall we? Okay, so, we're doing alright. The path is clearing very nicely. There's a lot of trees to clear up and tidy up. Stumps to grind, which I'm going to do in a second. We're up at, almost up the little plateau bit at the top. There's a few more to do till we get through to the, the entrance proper. Quite a few, actually. But I'm going to go and grab the stump grinder and get some of these stumps sorted out. And then we'll finish off that last bit. Hopefully before the end of the episode. Not the fastest machine out there, however. So I'm quite looking forward to the new uh, the black sheep modding um, digger excavator um, pack sort of leap hair stuff. There's a hook lift um, truck that's supposed to be coming out, and yeah, you know, for this kind of thing, it's gonna be brilliant. That excavator's got some nice attachments um, for doing this kind of thing, logging. That's going to be brilliant. So, what were the first ones I cut? It was these, wasn't it? Let's get that turned on. One down. Several to go. I know this isn't technically in the way, but, you know, my OCD will not allow me to leave it even touching it. Excellent. Might 
Let's try that out a little bit. See. There we go. Right. Perfect. So as you can imagine, this is going to take a little while. It's much, much harder to see when you've got the forestry version, as you can imagine. But I'm going to carry on, clear the rest of this, and then we'll finish off the last bit to the entrance. Right, let's crack on, get these last ones done. It's all very exciting. A few things that have been mentioned. This is going to be a long way to haul. Let's be honest, if you're going to be doing logs and you want to take it to the sawmill, which is all over there, bear in mind, if you're watching this and you didn't watch the um, the kind of reveal video that I did yesterday, it depends when you're watching this, of course, it might not have been yesterday, it could have been months ago, um, go and have a look. Um, it's worth a look, just to see you know, what it looks like, where it goes, and it goes for quite a way, so if it was me unless you're working in a team and you've, you're ferrying backwards and forwards, you've got people hauling while people are cutting, you're doing a multiplayer on this, wood chipping would be my suggestion, drag a wood chipper in with you and you can make money as you go, that's kind of what I would do, maybe put a fixed one in um, at the start and gradually work your way through, I don't know, I'm just thinking of different ideas of how it would work. We're almost there. I say that. Actually, still quite a lot of trees between me and me and there. I was just about to say, I do like the fact that the lumber's not rolling away. It started to move then. Bear in mind, most of this is on a slope. I've been quite lucky so far. Right. Let's one of these. Another one of these dodgy ones. So bad. Please cut. There we go. Let's get this end bit out of the ground. Hmm. 
we'll do it. There we go. There we go. Let's get it out of the ground. That didn't work. Perfect. Shut that down there. Right, okay. I'll see you again in a minute. I need to get this done. The devastation behind me tells a story. Uh, my <laughs> urgency to get through. I've left a load of trees around by the side, but that's fine. It doesn't matter because I just need a clear, re a clear route through. But we are on the last three, maybe four, but three definitely, because I can already see the track the other side. Weird. I couldn't have done that if I tried. Never seen that before. Can I get the other one on top? Ah, oh, so close. Made myself a little fence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sidetracked ever so slightly there. Um, right. Technically, oh, I just fell. One more. And we're through. But I'll take the others out of the way just to be thorough. There we have it, we are through. All the way from the hard pan area down there. Round the bend, up the hill, round the corner, and there it is. A thing of beauty. Actually, I might not cut those. I want to leave those there. Adds a bit of greenery to the scene. And here it is. It's like the yellow brick road. Obviously not being yellow or brick, but you know, you know what I mean. Off to uh, the Lost Valley of Timber. And it goes off and off and off and off. Anyway, right, well, that's that done. We are through. Uh, I need to cut the stumps out, and that'll be clear. And then what I will then do is sort out getting uh, the timber trailer. And we'll start loading and loading this up so we can clear it completely. And that will be our route through to our new timber area.
And there we go. That's all the stumps done. It is clear of, well, of so obstructions. Once all the logs are gone, it's clear of obstructions. That's a winding path through there. Um, but that's it. That's the path clear. No more stumps. What I have done down the bottom, we wind our way down through the devastation. I downloaded, well, I installed the uh, rusty gate fence post pack. Um, I just popped it in here. Let's jump out. And I put one of the four panel sets that way, uh, diagonal, and that way a diagonal, so that from a distance you can quite clearly see where the entrance is to get in. I thought that would be quite helpful. Well, it certainly helped me anyway. Um, and then it will follow up round. I could put fencing right up around the side, but there doesn't seem much point in doing that. But that makes it glaringly obvious where it is. And that's it from me on this well, kind of special episode of Smoky Mountain Logging. Uh, like, I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm continuing the Let's Play as such, but this isn't going to be a one-off. I'm going to the next episode. I'm going to clear the logs away and make sure we've got a nice clear route through. So it might only be two episodes, but we'll see. But anyway, that is it from me. We have cleared the path. We have cleared the stumps. We'll get rid of all the timber. And our path through to the secret entrance will be clear. I hope you enjoyed it. Found it useful, helpful, whatever. Whatever you found it. Um, if you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.